So Dublin's Art in Public Places program is a really robust program of public art here in the city. Um, we have more than 70 sculptural elements in the collection, meaning that all throughout Dublin, anywhere you go, you can find either a sculpture or a mural or something really exciting and engaging to interact with. Dublin Arts Council was actually started as an ad hoc committee who brought um, the Columbus Symphony Orchestra to this park that we're standing in, in Scioto Park, for the dedication of the park. The Art and Public Places collection was started just a little while after that. So the first piece of public art was actually Leather Lips, which is right behind me here, and that was installed in 1990. And since then, we've consistently added more pieces to the collection. One of the really wonderful things about Dublin's Art and Public Places program is that most of the pieces in the collection have something to do with the actual site where they stand, which means that they're all site specific. What the artist of Leather Lips wanted to do is to honor the indigenous Wyandotte people in the area. Um, the artist's name is Ralph Helmick, and Chief Leather Lips was a Wyandotte chief who lived in the Dublin area. And he was known as being very honorable and true to his word. So the sculpture was inspired by him. And the sculpture itself is actually created with local limestone that was um, sourced from the area. It stands about 12 feet high. It overlooks the river. So what you can actually do with this sculpture is there's a flat surface on the top where you can actually go up and stand on top of the Chief Leather Lip sculpture and see the beautiful vista of the river and the rest of the park from that perspective. Field of Corn is probably our most well-known piece in the collection. It's been featured in many different um, articles and books and collections about things to see and do in Ohio. Um, a lot of people don't really know why it's there, but it does provoke an emotional response, which we think is a wonderful thing for public art to do. And actually, that piece is by artist Malcolm Cochran. And his inspiration for that piece is that the park on which Field of Corn stands um, used to be a farm owned by Sam and Eulalia France. And so the sculpture itself is sort of a tribute to the agrarian society that Dublin used to be. And um, if you notice, the corn rows are laid out almost like similar to the um, tombstones in Arlington National Cemetery was sort of his inspiration for that pattern. So it's sort of a monument to what used to be. Watch House was created by the artist as sort of a tribute to the indigenous Wyandotte people once again. If you notice, it's on a circle mound, which was created by the artist, but many of those mounds used to exist in this area. Um, inside Watch House, if you actually look up at the ceiling, you can notice many different shapes um, cut out of the roof that allows light to shine through. So Exuvia by Todd Smith is a really interesting piece that a lot of people see and kind of wonder what the inspiration was. And believe it or not, um, the artist was inspired both by his tree climbing habits as a child and by the habits of cicadas, who are also notorious tree climbers and shed their outer layers of skin. So the artist actually wrapped himself in material and then emerged from the back of it to create those shapes. So if you notice, there is a hole in the back of those sculptures. And um, there are multiple scattered throughout Kaufman Park, but the most obvious one is the one right near the Recreation Center. Dublin Arts Council actually offers an award-winning cell phone tour. So what you are able to do is each sculpture in the collection or piece of artwork has a sign nearby that has a phone number which you're able to call and hear a pre-recorded message from the artist. So you're actually able to hear the artist speak about their own artwork in their own words. It's a really great adventure and a great way to get out and see Dublin's parks because they're all throughout parks with access to the river or its tributaries, meaning that you'll see beautiful waterscapes and parks and you'll be finding some incredible incredible hidden artwork as well.